Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live, and whoever lives and believes in me will never die. The eternal God is your dwelling place, and underneath are his everlasting arms. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? For we know that if the earthly tent we live in is destroyed, we have a building from God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for sending your Son, Jesus Christ, to be the Lord of life, the conqueror of death, and who is our help in every time of trouble. We thank you that you made him who knew no sin to be a sin offering, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Lord, we come to you today to remember John, and we ask you to give us the strength we need to move through this time. May we focus upon you the way those early Christians did, recognizing you as our pioneer and perfecter of our faith. And so be strengthened in the presence of death to worship you that we may have that same hope of eternal life and be enabled to put our whole trust in your goodness and mercy. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. David, in, in the Bible, was a man who was blessed with many gifts and graces, and yet also had his shortcomings. Sounds like all of us here today. David, even though he had done so many things that were good and also some things that were wrong, yet he was known as a man after God's own heart. That was his legacy. And sometimes people wonder, well, how could he be known as a man after God's own heart when we know that he was guilty of adultery and murder and so forth? And the reason for that is, is that when David was confronted with doing wrong, he repented. He was one who spent at least two years as a fugitive from the previous king, Saul, kept his dependence upon the God of history. And after the Lord had delivered him from one of these times, these difficult times, he wrote for us the words we know today as the 23rd Psalm. And I invite you to say it along with me now. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. And then over in the 121st Psalm, we remember the farm on which John lived and lived up on that, on that hillside there where the farm was. And he surely had to look over into the hills from time to time. And so the psalmist wrote for us, I lift up my eyes to the hills, from whence does my help come? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not smite you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will watch over your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. At this point, uh, I'd like to take a break here because one of the things that was requested is that uh, there would be a time of sharing.
some memories about John. And uh, who would like to be bold enough to start off and share a little something about what we remember about John? Yeah. 